Hi, I'm Myra Ferguson for Ajar Productions, and in this video I'd like to show you how to create an accordion menu with InDesign and N5. And there's no coding required. An accordion menu is a stacked group of headers and information. When I click a header, its corresponding content is revealed, and the other header's content is hidden. When I click a different header, the open content becomes hidden, and the content for the header I just clicked is revealed. Let's jump over to InDesign to see how to set it up. This effect uses buttons and multi-state objects, otherwise known as MSOs. Here I have three groups that each have a header and corresponding content. I'll select them all in Option Drag on Mac or Alt Drag on Windows to make as many copies as there are groups of content, plus one. Then I'll arrange them how I want them to appear when a user clicks on a header. The first set will be the closed menu where none of the content shows, so I'll delete the frames that contain the content and move the headers together. The second set will be the one where the first header's content shows, so I'll delete the content frames other than the one that goes with header 1. The third set will be the one where the second header's content shows, so I'll delete the content for the frames other than the one that goes with header 2. And the fourth set will be the one where the third header's content shows, so I'll delete the content for the frames other than the one that goes with header 3. I'll group each of these sets align them by their tops, and center them. With all these groups selected, I'll go to the Object States panel, which you can find by going to Window, Interactive, Object States, and click on the plus button at the bottom of the panel to convert the selection into a multi-state object. In the Object States panel, I can see that State 1 is where the menu is closed. State 2 is where Header 1's content is open. State 3 is where Header 2's content is open, and State 4 is where Header 3's content is open. If your states aren't in that order, you can rearrange them and rename them in the Object States panel. Now that we have created an MSO, we can make buttons that go to a specified state. I'll select the MSO, make sure I'm on State 1, and double-click to select Header 1. Let's go to the Buttons and Forms panel, which can be found by going to Window, Interactive, Buttons and Forms. Let's make header 1 a button and keep its event set to on, release, or tap. We'll add an action to go to state. The object will be our only MSO, and the state will be state 2 because that's where the content is open for header 1. We'll do the same thing for the other headers in state 1, and set them to go to state 3 and state 4 respectively. We're not done yet because we also need to convert the headers in the other object states to buttons and set them up to go to the appropriate object states. In the Object States panel, I'll select State 2. Here, Header 1 is already open, so you can either leave it as it is or turn it into a button that goes back to State 1 if you want clicking on it to appear to toggle it closed. I'll set up Header 2 and Header 3 to go to the object states where their content is open. I'll keep going through each object state and setting up the headers as buttons. I'll select the MSO, go to the object states panel, select state 3 so I can access header 1, turn it into a button, and make it go to state 2. Then I'll select this header 2, make it a button, and set it to go back to state 1 so it'll appear closed. I'll do header 3, make it a button, and set it to go to state 4. And then I'll select the MSO again, switch to state 4, and set its buttons. I'll make this header 1 a button in the Buttons and Forms panel, and set it to go to State 2, and I'll make this header 2 a button, and make it go to State 3. The final header 3 will look like it's closed, 
so let's make it go to state one. Let's save and export. I'll go to N5, export HTML5 with N5, and click OK. Let's take a look. When I click each header, its content is revealed. And if I click an open header, it closes it. Please tell us in the comments how you might use an accordion menu in your N5 exported content. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and be sure to check out N5 at n5.us. Thanks so much for watching.